The road to Android 15 is in full swing with One UI 7 Beta on the Galaxy S24 series devices. And it's safe to say, this is one of Samsung's biggest changes to the user interface layer of Android OS as beta software programs go. For the good that comes with it, it does come by nature with some bugs, missing features, and also more additional features and changes to the visual look and also functions of the OS as time goes. We now have a new follow-up build version update for One UI 7 Beta, which looks to address all the above mentioned for a more stable OS experience for more user options and features to boot. Hi, Ben from Sam Mobile. If you enjoy new and exclusive videos like this, then be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos on YouTube with Sam Mobile TV. Here is our quick look of One UI 7 Beta 2 on the Galaxy S24 Ultra. First thing we notice with the software update information page is the build number, which ends in ZXL5 with a software download size of 1067 megabytes for this beta build still on the December security update, which compared to the first beta build, it ended in ZXKZ. So your access to One UI 7 beta may vary until the final OTA version, which is expected to arrive sometime in January 2025. With that away, let's dive in and see what's new with what we are dubbing as beta 2 of One UI 7. First major feature change we notice is with Game Booster. Within the advanced feature setting page, as you scroll down within the Game Booster settings menu, there is now an option to select two refresh rate options for game gaming motion smoothness, which is between 60 and 120 hertz. The 60 hertz option is indicated to save more battery, while the 120 hertz mode, when a game is supported, gives a smoother visual experience. The setting does indicate if a game app has its own refresh rate setting, then it will use that instead. This is great, as this allows for more options for mobile gamers to tailor their gaming experience to how they want, balancing between better battery life and a smooth gaming experience when needed. The constant overlay of the secured by Nox watermark in the app drawer for beta one has now been removed in this latest beta two update. Not the end of the world when the watermark was there, but in a lot of ways, it did get in the way of the natural visual aesthetics of the new app drawer. Although Samsung did state that the watermark would be removed in the stable release of One UI 7, it's great to see with beta two that the change to remove the watermark has arrived sooner and does show that Samsung are listening and are committed to giving the best visual look and experience to One UI 7, even down to the small details. The visual look and customization to the quick panels does show one of the biggest changes seen in Samsung's One UI software in years, given a fresh and clean look with the ability to place each respective panel in the order you would like. In beta two, the volume and brightness slider has traded places. In beta one, the volume slider was at the top with the brightness at the bottom. Whereas with beta two, the brightness slider is at the top while the volume slider is at the bottom. Now we don't entirely know the reasons why the switch around was made, but overall it does not hurt the user experience when using a quick panel for the volume and brightness slider in any way. So we'll take the change for what it is. Saving the best feature until last is of course animations. Now take this part with a pinch of salt as it's still beta software and how the final release version will behave when it comes to speed and fluidity is yet to be determined. But for now, with our limited time with beta two, it does look and feel very smooth when it comes to animations across the overall system UI, whether swiping across the homepage, moving across the app drawer, accessing notifications and the quick panels to everyone's favorite, of course, which is opening and closing applications. The overall animations look well improved compared to beta one. We're glad to see Samsung paying more overall attention to animation smoothness and hope for continued improvements as time goes until the final release OTA. Some other major changes that were mentioned and addressed in the change log for beta two are as follows. The now bar, which arguably is one of Samsung's biggest live interactions interactive feature updates for One UI did have a bug in beta one where it would actually at times continue to show notifications even after the application was closed. This issue looks to have been fixed, which is great to see. Wireless Dex in some cases was not working on certain TVs, which also looks to have been fixed. Intermittent restarts to the device would actually sometimes occur when power saver mode was enabled, which also looks to have been fixed. A bug with the reminder app when changing and applying a transparency opacity change not working 
Tekken also looks to have been fixed with Beta 2. The animation and transition speed smoothness when moving to the recent apps menu also looks to have been improved, as well as a fix for applying the background type setting for the weather app widget has also been fixed, amongst other fixes in Beta 2, with things like GPS functionality, Wi-Fi and NFC connection errors being fixed and more. It looks like the road to Android 15 is in a good place when it comes to One UI 7 Beta 2 and shows that Samsung are listening to feedback, improving things as we go for a much more stable experience and also added more meaningful features and controls for the end user to have the best experience. There is indeed more to come when it comes to beta releases until the final OTA update and we'll be sure to follow up and do more deep dive coverage of One UI 7 Beta as time goes. If you've been using One UI 7 Beta on your eligible Galaxy S24 device, what's been your experience so far? Let us know in the comment section below. For the latest news in the world of Samsung Daily, be sure to visit us at sammobile.com. And for the latest videos on YouTube with Sam Mobile TV, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications, and we will see you next time.